Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we're going to be testing Soph X Revolution's Soph's party kit. So let's get started. First things first, I think we best show them the party kit. Here it is. It comes in this big bronze, copper, gold kind of coloured box. Absolutely massive. Basically says on the back what's in it. So let's open this up and see what it contains. Open it up. I'm going to smack you in the face in the process. So this is what is inside. You get three different brushes. One <laughs> for eyeshadow, one for powder and one for concealer and foundation. And then obviously you get the palette, which we are going to be testing. Just gonna see if it's as good as our other palettes, aren't we? Yes. Just before we start, we're just letting you know that I'm gonna be testing this makeup with no base on, so no foundation, no primer, nothing. And she's already got like a foundation and concealer and everything sorted. So then you can get sort of two different opinions and yeah. see if it works better, like with makeup on without. That kind of thing. Right, let's get this palette out. We're just gonna have a closer look at this palette. <laughs> I'm like going back and backwards. So basically, these shades here are all eyebrow shades. So basically, they're like eyebrow powders. Then these two in the middle are obviously highlighters. And then these are all the eyeshadow shades. They're all shimmery shades, especially like this one here. That is cute. I like the one in the top corner. That one. Yeah. Like a purpley colour. Don't have names or anything in this palette, which is a shame because our other palettes all have like names for the different colours. Yeah. I think I quite like the packaging with this one though. It's, it's really cute. Very, very shiny. Oh, so warm. We're getting a bit sweaty in here. The window <sighs> shuts, it's very loud outside and it's like, it is a sauna. That's what it feels like. I apologise for looking like a sweaty mess. So the first thing we're going to try is the eyebrow shades. I think I'm going to try the middle shade first. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too light so I might have to mix the top two together yeah but we will soon see which one are you testing? I feel like I'm just gonna do the same like start with the middle and then if it's a bit like mix it around oh, okay <laughs> let's dip in the brushes okay I can definitely see it yeah same I think this middle color is actually not too bad I feel like it's darker when it's like on than actually like in the package I have to agree definitely looks a lot lighter in the palette so yeah the middle shade is definitely all right though so i don't need to dip it in the darker no. shade at all i feel like that would just get too dark yeah, it's pretty good it's just like a like, easy to apply powder shade yeah i like this normally what i do is i'll like apply like a pomade and then color it in with the powder so when i use it properly that's probably what i'm going to do but for this video we want to see how it works on its own i am really liking this you know the only thing is I'm finding I'm having to dip my brush in quite a lot, like yeah, one dip isn't really going very far. However, apart from that, it's good. Yes, basically. I'm going to leave it at that. I like this. So, I mean, you know, there is room for improvement when I'm, like, doing them properly and I'll fill them in better. But for a first time impressions, it's good. I think yeah. they're okay. So now moving on to the next product, we're going to do the eyeshadows. So as normal in our testing videos, we don't tend to go for a proper eyeshadow look. We literally just pick a colour, pack it on the lid, and we just look for stuff like, is the pigmentation good? Is there any fallout? You know, that kind of thing. Rather than trying to do like a big dramatic look because we are useless and it would yeah. end up terrible. So since that shade's my favourite, I think I'm going to go in with this shade for one of the eyes and then for another eye I think I'm going to go in with the orangey shade so I'm going to be using these two on separate eyes to get a picture of the colours and for my first eye I feel like I'm going to go with this top purpley colour because like as I said earlier it was my favourite and then I'm going with like this dark bluey kind of colour it's quite a cute colour yeah the ones that are opposite ends of the palette let's try these out also the brush i'm going to be using is the eyeshadow brush from the palette so i'm going to be testing that out as well if i can get it out of the box <laughs> job to help you maybe so this is just a little brush with a golden handle nice little fluffy thing it's very little because these are the travel size brushes so they're all really small so obviously easy to travel with so let's dip the brush in okay i'm liking this same the colour is very pretty. It's like very there though with this. I really like it. I feel like this colour would look better with like some setting spray on the brush or like... Yeah, maybe. But to say I've got no primer on or anything, like it's showing up really well. 
it is really good. Like, I don't think there's much, like, fallout at all. And I'm really loving how pigmented it is. With this one, I found now I've done, like, another layer of it and built it up. It is very, like, in your face. Like, I'm sure you can see, like, on my lid. Right, I'm gonna go in with the blue colour now. And I'm gonna go in with the goldy kind of colour, which I pointed before. I like this. Yeah, I like this one too. Don't think this one's as pigmented. No, neither's mine, I think. I feel like it's definitely pigmented, but not as much as... Yeah. I think the first colour was a lot better. Yeah. But like I say, add a bit of setting spray onto these. And they'll be really pretty. Like, they're pretty on their own, but this gold colour isn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. Like, I found... That the golds in our other palettes are really pigmented but i find this one's a bit lacking compared to the other <laughs> ones still super pretty though and i love the color of it i'm liking how blue this is like it's very yeah see i don't tend to go for blues but that is a pretty blue i feel like that yeah. would look nice for like a smoky color yeah like a smoky eye do it sort of in the crease at the ends i like these eyeshadows i find that makeup revolution do really good eyeshadows all the time yeah I don't know if you can see we're just gonna make myself look like an idiot <laughs> yeah, they are really pretty. I definitely recommend this palette so far. And yeah, just a review on the brush. It's done its job. It's put the eyeshadow on. Like the shadows went onto the brush easily, you know, easy to use. They're actually quite good brushes. Oh, my face is getting so red. I'm sweating. It's so hot. Look at your face. Your face looks orange compared to me. Now, kids, we're on to the last product. So there's two highlighters. So we're going to test a highlighter each. She'll test that one and I'll test this one. Easier to choose that way, have the closest one to us. And so we're just gonna dip the brushes in. I'm just gonna apply this on his face. You can definitely see it. I like this highlighter. I feel like this one isn't looking like as purple on the face. Like it just sort of looks like your standard kind of coloured highlighter, but it's pretty. I like this. I like how it's not very like in your face, where like if you just like want a subtle kind of that's not subtle honey well then i think this one's more subtle that's more golden this is more just sort of like pale like it's definitely not purple on the face no so i guess if you're expecting a purple color then it's kind of a negative but yeah for me i think i prefer just the natural kind of highlight yeah so i guess it's a good thing both highlighters are definitely there and definitely shining and like even if like you wanted like your highlighter to be even more like there you, you could just build it up let's just build yours up here we go okay Thanks. Let's just, let's just let's just highlight the whole face. Oh, okay. We, um, we're gonna be glowing. Thank you. We got, we're just putting it to the test. We're just seeing if it works as like oh. a a face glower. Oh god, I've got a really shiny face. I look like I've got a really sweaty forehead. <laughs> I just look very sweaty anyway because I am sweaty. <laughs> right guys, so that is the end of the testing video. What's your review on the palette? Overall, I think it's a good palette and it's worth the money. Like, I don't think any of the products are just like not very good. I think they all have a quality that you'd, you'd like. You just, it's not a love-hate palette. It's just a... It's just your standard palette, really. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't rave about it using the products in here. I'm not like, whoa, absolutely shook to the core. <laughs> I think maybe it is a little bit of a letdown compared to those other palettes. I'm not going to lie. But it's definitely pretty. They all definitely work. Like, nothing's bad in here. No. It's all good products. And they're all super pretty colours. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty colours in here. Especially if you like your shimmery shades. These are all shimmery eyeshadows. And you've got your pretty highlighters. And I, th I find it quite cool they've put the eyebrow products in there like you don't see a yeah. lot of palettes with eyebrow colors in the same palette like as a highlighter yeah. and an eyeshadow kit so we're just going to give you a close-up anyway of the palette just so you can see the colors so that's the end of the video guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button leave a comment in the comment box below if there's anything else you want us to review let us know because obviously our reviews are very professional <laughs> and we are and we know what we're doing yeah, totally we're, we're very serious with these <laughs> yeah. things right we'll see you in the next video bye, bye.